All right, let's get started. So again, for people who are just joining, let's see, we got, oh, 45 now, good job. Okay, if you have a question, whoops, you want to go to the chat button and ask the question in there and we'll monitor there. And later on, if something comes to you, go to the uh, Facebook group and ask the question inside that uh, webinar that we're streaming live there, okay? So again, good morning. Let's talk about document signing. So first we have to say thank you very much to Remax Crest Masters and Central for um, sponsoring this webinar. Uh, this is our last one for the year. Next year, we're going to be doing it a little bit differently and we'll see how that pans out. Um, but uh, so Ray, we wanna make sure actually, if you want to be on our list, you gotta be on the Facebook group or on our newsletter to let you know when we're doing um, more of these uh, free webinars. We'll still be doing them once a month. But we wanna thank Remax Crest for sponsoring this. Um, they uh, find out how to make things for our realtors. They do a lot of training, you guys. Really, really fantastic. So if you're looking for a change, this is the lovely Cassidy Bast. If you have not met her, she is fabulous. And that is her phone number and her email. So uh, you can always contact her. But let's get started. So um, not everybody knows me. So let me just talk a little bit about why I'm here helping agents with technology. That's me. And that's my lovely, oh, I'm fast on this. That's my lovely husband. And so um, I started, I'm in IT. I've been in IT since the mm, mid 90s. Right? And so I used to program. I used to look after email servers and wireless devices when they came about. And I was on many projects, how things integrate and sync and um, how things work over a network. And so and I used to write manuals too. I never really tell people that, but I used to research and write manuals in um, for Vancouver Coastal Health for on technology and systems. So um, I've been doing this for a very long time. And so when Terry became an agent, I started looking at his stuff and good morning, Karen. <laughs> I looked at his stuff, trying to figure out how we can streamline it. And so completely changed the way he, he did his business. So everything sunk, everything talks to each other. Um, and part of that was learning document signing. So we'll talk about that obviously today. And again, ask questions in the chat. I hate talking to myself, so I love it when you guys ask questions. But that's kind of a real brief thing about me. Document signing, here's the thing about document signing. Whatever you're using that you could have your clients with you and sign, the clients can be away and you can sign. You could be, you know, in Vancouver, this is such a big area. So it might be an hour, an hour and a half from you and your client. So you could be at your home, they could be at their home and you could have things, get things signed, right? And then here's the thing that really prompted me to really understand document signing is you could go on vacation, right? I know that what's, what's this, the saying is that every time you go on vacation, if you're, if you're not busy, uh, book a vacation because then you'll get clients, right? We're leaving on vacation uh, Tuesday <laughs> and that is the case, exactly what's happening. But Terry can do deals from wherever we are in the world, right? And so you want to know that like you could be on vacation at a conference with your family and still quickly sign and edit documents, okay? Fair enough, right? Um, again, for people who are just joining us, oh, we got 60 now. That's not bad. That's almost half. Um, if you could just say where you're from, I'd love that. And tell me what you're using for document signing. So either nothing or whatever platform you're using. And I would like to tailor the uh, presentation to that. Okay. All right. So um, document signing. So one of the things about document signing, and there's many different platforms out there. Good morning, Lynn. I'm glad you're there. Pam, hello. Look at all my people here. I love this. Okay. So um, uh, we want to use the ones that are widely used and easy to understand. No paper is required. You don't have to print or fax, right? And that you're really a truly mobile agent. Good morning, Pierce. Uh, you don't use, and that's perfect. So hopefully by the end of today or this uh, next hour, you'll you know, get a better idea of, of what to use. Um, so document signing really does save you time. And I know you younger people don't know what that is, but you don't need to anymore because there's no need to fax unless you're faxing to 
the government, right? <laughs> and as a government and insurance are the only people that still fax for some stupid reason. And even then you don't need a fax machine. Did you know there's an online tool? I had to send something to CRA, uh, oh, it was a while ago, six months or something like that. And I had to fax it to them. I don't have a fax machine. So I just logged on and searched for free faxing tools and I did it that way and they got it. It was pretty cool. Um, <laughs> Karen, <laughs> sorry, I'm just reading your comment, webworms. Web forms, yes, exactly. So um, here's one of the things. Oh, I should preface this with that I have taught a DocuSign course for about... Oh my goodness, I'm going to say about three years at our real estate board in Vancouver. I believe they're ending that now with all the new rules of training and stuff. So uh, we'll see what, what happens in the new year. But uh, I'll probably offer it a different way because every time we do it, it's full. And we have like beginners and advanced and they're full classes. So um, who would take that? Who would take a DocuSign course? Because it would be accredited course, right? So I will talk, be talking very familiar with DocuSign, but as if you know me, I'm also a little bit of a researcher. So I also, um, I kind of, you know, dabble in looking at all the other ones as well to see how they integrate, but they all do the same thing. So I will be showing you DocuSign today. Um, I was going to show AuthentiSign, um, but <laughs> true to form, how I don't really like AuthentiSign is that, um, I couldn't log on my, I, I did have a free account because I, that's what I used to show agents and now it's not working. And then they're log on and I just gave up. I'm like, okay, I'm so tired of AuthentiSign and the way it works, but I will, whatever you use is good, right? As long as you use it. Um, okay. So one of the things that uh, I get asked all the time, because I've been asked uh, in the classes that people say, well, I don't really believe in electronic document signing paper is better. So Here's a little thing, paper can be forged and a human witness is needed. Electronic, you can't forge it without access to somebody's email, right? So you should not be giving out your email passwords. And there are some caveats I'll tell you in a minute. Um, there's audit trails along the way, right? It tells you where people are, they track the IP address. Every single computer has a specific number attached to it, okay? And we can track where that was, that location. So it's pretty cool. It's encrypted, the location is recorded, time and date, and a certificate is generated. Generally speaking, on all the platforms I've seen, they all do this, okay? So one of the things that we, um, when we were looking at the course, creating the DocuSign course, we went to the lawyers and said, okay, so, okay, we know that electronic document signing is legal in Canada. Uh, I'm sure it is in the U.S. as well. My, any of my U.S. friends here? Yes. Um, oh, hi, Christina. Good morning, Sarah. Let me just read. Company stopping the contract with DocuSign. Authentisign, maybe. A new. Yeah. So I do know there's a lot of switch to AuthentiSign, and for my American friends, if you're here, AuthentiSign is like a Canadian-based uh, signing app who seem to be taking over. They must have some big, deep pockets because they've been taking over a lot of software. Um, I personally don't love AuthentiSign and, and we can talk about that, but, um, and I will be showing you DocuSign because I can't log on to my AuthentiSign account this morning and I gave up. Um, what if my clients don't know anything about DocuSign? You know what? It's in theory, your clients, it should not matter what the clients end up because in theory, they're actually all very similar from the client perspective. What I do like is that almost like a lot of people don't know what AuthentiSign is unless you're an agent, right? But many people have heard of DocuSign because it's worldwide and it's used by a lot of different companies, a lot of different types of organizations, okay? Uh, one of the things that we want you to understand, though, is that sometimes a couple shares an email address. And what the lawyer said to us is that in a court of law, if it ever gets to a court of law, and Bob and Betty Smith at yahoo.ca signed with the same email address, then it probably will be a problem for you. Okay, we want to have two separate email addresses so we know they signed separately, they logged onto their accounts and they signed it as a separate. Otherwise, Bob could be signing for Bob and Betty and we don't want that, okay? Uh, questions, what if my clients don't know? I already answered that, I'd like to take the course, okay? Yeah, I may do it, I just am pondering, I'm so busy, I may, do, well, obviously next year. Um, uh, perfect, okay, let me just see how we're doing here, nice. So uh, remember that you want your clients to have two separate email addresses, okay? 
You do not want to use the same email. Now, what I want you to understand this. Will the software you use allow Bob to be Bob and Betty Smith at yahoo.ca and Betty to be Bob and Betty Smith at yahoo.ca? What do you think? Now, this is where I like actual classrooms. <laughs> right? Yes, it allows you, but you should not do it. Okay? It, you should not do it. And, it, and it's never a problem until it's a problem, right? So please make sure that your clients have two separate email addresses, okay? That just makes sense, really, right? Legally, it just makes sense. Okay, so let's continue on here. And then I'm gonna do a demo. So why go paperless? Because it's easy, it's green, uh, it impresses your potential clients. And here's the thing, if you're, if you're not, um, if you're not savvy on the technology side and you're like, Oh, I hate this because it's always changing, right? No matter what, cloud storage, uh, document signing, everything's changing all the time. There's software updates. You're like, oh my God, I don't want to learn another thing. What I tell uh, agents is that you have to embrace some of this technology because if you go in and say to your client and roll your eyes and say, oh no, I don't use DocuSign. Oh, it's so whatever. It's hard to learn or whatever. They will take that from you. Like if you go and say, this is the best thing ever, even if you don't know it fully, you just say, I'm, I'm learning uh, this great thing that you can be anywhere, I can be anywhere, and it totally will impress it. It's just your attitude has to change, okay? Uh, question, what if the husband has a POA for a wife and can I send, oh, you know what? That's a legal question, Dominic, I'm sorry. You need to talk to a lawyer about that. I am not a lawyer, <laughs> okay? No idea if that what the legality is, I can guess, but. Uh, so it does help you stand out. So if you, um, now, I'm not also saying that uh, document signing replaces the human interaction. It totally doesn't. So sometimes you still need to see your clients, but isn't it great if they're away or far away or you're out and about or they're out and about that you don't have to figure out a way to arrange to get documents signed? What a waste of time, okay? Um, I think it's cheap. Now here's the thing, and I get this all the time and it always surprises me, because here's my mindset. If any software saves me a lot of time and probably money, because time is money, then the cost to me is irrelevant, you know, within reason. So people do always say that, oh my God, DocuSign is so expensive. And I'm like, so what? And, and I don't think it's that expensive. I, we, you get deals, you can get deals. And I do know Remax agents, yours is something like instead of the 250 that you get with the Crea deal, it's something like one, I don't know, any Remax agents out there, 125, 150, something like that, a year. Okay, that's nothing compared to the time you save uh, and the headaches that you will be relieved of from doing this, right? So I, I think it's relatively inexpensive. So when people say to me, oh, AuthentiSign is so much cheaper, so what? I really don't, the, the price should not come into this. What should matter is the ease of use, okay? Um, is there a concern to computer systems compatibility or the version of operating system? Nope. It absolutely does. So the question, sorry, if I just went by that really fast. It's a great question, Jan. Is there a concern of computer system compatibility or the version of operating system that the client uh, concerns the clients? No. So I'm again, I don't know, every single uh, piece of electronic document signing software out there. I do know the big ones. Uh, George is saying he can't hear me very well. Is that just George, you guys? Does everybody else hear me okay? You can just say, it's probably you, George. You gotta turn up your volume. Has nothing to do with Zoom. Just turn up your volume. Um, yeah, perfect. Thanks, Christina. Yeah, everyone says it's okay. So uh, it's your computer volume, okay? If you can just up that. Thanks, guys. Um, so, oh, I digress. So I'm really, really obviously familiar with DocuSign because I taught the course for so many years. We use it. I help other agents with it. And, but it is very similar with all of them. It should not matter whether you're on an iPhone, an Android, a Outlook opening it up, a Mac mail, or a browser. It should not, in theory, matter at all. The process for the client is the same. Tap to open, it opens it up, tap here to sign an initial, uh, eventually finish, and then the document's done, okay? Great questions, you guys, thank you, I love questions. It's a marketing tool, yes, you can say that uh, you are a um, electronic document signing person, and this is what how it, it improves your business and helps the clients, right? It's a great marketing tool. 
And it's such a time saver. I cannot tell you how awesome it is as time saving. So one of the things, oh, I just changed a slide and I did a horrible job on this. I'll have to fix that. Ray, <laughs> Ray, can you fix that later? This was my fault. Um, yeah, sure. but thank you. But what I was trying to show you on uh, electronic document signing, that also the really important thing to understand about any software you're using in your industry, and you know, if you've heard me talk before, is the top-down setup of your stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the top-down setup of your stuff, and you'll understand, all my clients, you're good, because you're I've, I've fixed all your stuff, but you have a domain, and then you have a proper business email, and with that proper business email comes the contacts, the calendar, the email, and all your stuff syncing on all your devices. And it all has to depend on that proper business email. Then the cloud storage side, when I'm talking about like files and folders and other documents, it like iCloud and Dropbox and OneDrive and Google Drive, right? Those are attached to that email address. So everything relies on that email address. So if you're sharing a folder on some cloud storage, it's sent from that email address, right? So the other thing, CRMs, and these are just three of many, if your CRM's in there, if it's a good CRM that integrates with properly, I have to say this properly, with the business email address, contact sync, calendar sync, email syncs, all two way. I don't know if you understand how powerful that is if your systems are set up properly. Okay. And then of course, when we're talking about third party applications, when that other stuff is all set up properly inside DocuSign or AuthentiSign or dot loop or whatever you're using, I haven't seen anyone say dot loop, um, PDF expert, any third party application, a lot of them then allow you to attach. And I'll show you this, the, um, cloud storage service to it. So think about this, and I will try and show you this as long as the technology works. Um, if I open up my iPhone and I go to PDF Expert to um, edit a document that I saved on my computer and then the client says, no, let's do a counter and I'm out and about, I can go open up PDF Expert, I can go grab that file or contract on my computer, I can edit it and send it to DocuSign for signing and send it to my clients within, you'll see, I'll do it in maybe five, 10 minutes. Is that cool? It's because this part, the top part set up properly. Christina, we're gonna do that for you, okay? The top part set up properly. So Ray, if you could put in um, the link, I have a webinar that talks about this. He'll put in the webinar, me either, I love this stuff. Um, we'll put in a webinar link that we have that agents can go through, it's about 40, 45 minutes right now. And then if you've seen something like that or you've seen me speak, there's a, another one, another link that you can just uh, click on for a 30 minute chat. None of my clients need to do that because you're all set up good. Okay. All right. So it's really important to understand this. So the two main ones now, again, I don't know if any of my American friends are here. Can you say hello if you are? Cause I got to tailor this a little bit. Um, and I am not sure. Usually these ones aren't on my own webinars. They are. So this one's kind of run by Remax. I think we're probably good that I don't have to talk much about the American side of things. So let's just talk about the two big Canadian ones, okay? Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, oh uh, no, I'm just trying to think. I'll log, I can't log on to AuthentiSign because my demo account's been disabled. Maybe they know I say I don't really like it, I don't know. <laughs> I wish I could log on, I can't. But I'm gonna log on to DocuSign and again, whatever document signing tool you use, they are similar. What I, I think is the, um, the way it looks is different, okay? And the one thing I do like, has anyone used the um, mobile app that AuthentiSign has? Have you ever done a full deal in editing and everything on a tiny device using AuthentiSign? Just curious, because I think when I've tried it, it's painful. And I'll show you the difference with DocuSign. So, so the price difference is what, a hundred bucks? It's probably worth it. And I do not work for DocuSign. <laughs> okay, so I'm just saying I've tested all this stuff. All right. Um, so let me talk a little bit about also what form signature can take. And again, I, I, this is in, um, we've had the lawyers look at this. So the signature side of it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you anymore. What it's tracking is, who signed it, where they signed it, when they signed it, that all that kind of background stuff you see. 
So it really doesn't matter what the signature looks like. It could be like my actual signature or, now don't do this, but it could be a happy face, right? It doesn't really matter because that isn't what is happening, okay? So does that make sense, you guys? So it's not important, important. Um, what is important, and you might want to take a screenshot of this one and finish this, is I always say this to agents, is that no matter what you use, these are the steps. So if you know the steps, then it makes uh, any document signing a little bit easier, okay? So first you have to get the document, right? And you either get it from an email, you get it because it's on your computer, you may be creating it in web forms. Have you guys all embraced the new web forms? Here's the thing about technology, and I've seen every, not everybody, but a lot of people complaining about web forms. And I think that you just have to, you know, you have to go to the training. You can't complain about stuff if you haven't looked at it and understand the training. I, it just doesn't even make sense. So I don't think it's, I mean, there's some issues, but you've been warned a long time, right? So if you're in web forms, and I don't know about the new web forms, I'm logged in in a bit, but normally um, what you have to do is link whatever document signing you use to inside web forms once. Then when you do the deal or the contract or the kits, you automatically send it to whatever. There's four that they use in web forms. It's Faltor, um, Authentisign, DocuSign, and SecureShare. Uh, last time I looked, those four. So whatever one you're using, you link it. And then when you're in there doing the contract, you just say send. Can you, like, when I, when I was teaching the course, this is where people were so excited because they had been doing the contract, saving it, printing it, scanning it, doing all this other extra work that you don't need to do, right? Do you hear me? It's a high five. I know you, I can't see you guys, but it's a high five moment if you didn't know that. You want to link whatever you use to web forms, okay? Okay, so first you get the document, then you may be editing or not, right? So it depends on what you're doing, but if you're editing, we throw in an edit there. And you can edit inside Authentisign, you can edit inside DocuSign, there's some gotchas there. You can use some other third-party source for editing, Adobe, PDF Expert, whatever. What about you guys, what do you use? I'd love to know. Type in there, what do you use to, hi Erica, what do you use to edit your documents? Anybody or you don't? <laughs> or do you manually do it? That's possible too. I did not put that there because I hope you don't. <laughs> okay. DocuSign, DocuSign, PDF Expert, uh, lecture notes. Oh, will we be getting your lecture notes? This is being DocuSign, Authentisign, Docu oh, beautiful. Okay. So this is being broadcast to Facebook Live, I believe. I hope it works. And you can go there and uh, rewatch the webinar. So thank you very much. Okay. So, right, you get the document from somewhere, you edit it or not, you uh, e sign it. So, DocuSign, Authentisign, whatever, you send it to there, or you're doing it inside there for editing. It just depends. You add the signers, you add the initials and the signatures. I get that was obvious, so I didn't put it in there, <laughs> right? And you hit send. The signers sign, and then once the last person signs, everybody gets a copy. So you do not have to send anything to the clients afterwards. If the, the usually all, most, most of the software I've looked at, that's, this is exactly how it works. Okay, any questions? And here's the other thing you can do, depending on the type of market we're in for sure, but when you're adding the, uh, the signers, you also can add the other agent and say CC. I would set signing order that it get, goes in a particular order and then they get a copy once everybody's signed. Is that not cool? Because, right, what do you do now? You get your clients, you get the document once it's all done and then you have to forward it. So you're saving, saving time doing it the other way because now you have to go forward it and send it to the other agent, right? It's cool. I would test all this, so <clears throat> excuse me, so you understand how it works, okay? Guess what? It's demo time. Are you ready? I'm going to show you. Oh my gosh, I sure hope this works because I, again, it's the full moon. Someone said it's a full moon. I'm going to go with the full moon, okay? So let's see. Isn't that a beautiful screen? Let me just see if this is going to work. Oh my goodness. Now I have to stop this share. So momentarily, you're only going to see my big face here. Um, just a sec here. Let me just see. I, did I miss Scott from West Van? Just 
Reconnecting after traveling. Differences between DocuSign is my goal today. On our board has selected AuthentiSign. I think DocuSign is easier. We'll listen to the webinar. Yeah, again, I did mention it earlier, but um, I think because uh, uh, it's Lone Wolf that has bought all these companies up, and they're right. They're doing. Uh, they bought AuthentiSign, and they have some deal with Korea, I think. And so there's yeah. So. I, again, it's a personal preference. I have never loved Docu or DocuSign, AuthentiSign. Now, DocuSign has some glitches, which I'll talk to you about as well, but I don't like the look of AuthentiSign. I don't think it works if you're truly mobile. I will say this, I'll preface it with this, is that if you're actually doing everything on a big screen on your computer, then essentially all these things are similar. Where it changes is if you're a truly mobile agent, which I sure hope I can show you today. Uh, let me, oh, if I can't, I'm gonna have to, oh gosh, I sure hope I can show you. Just a sec here. Um, what am I doing? I gotta go back to the app. I haven't done it this way before, so please bear with me. I am trying to share, oh, please work. Cannot share screen. Well, the other, I stopped sharing, did I not? Yes, I did. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, I did not. I'm gonna stop my share. Okay computer never lies. Okay, so screen. Let's see. Please work. Start broadcast. You ready? Are you ready? Oh, what a weird hair I have. Okay. Oh my goodness. Can you guys see my screen? Tell me yes. Ray, I can't see the thing anymore. So can you see? Yep. Oh, yay. Okay. So oh, aren't those that's my niece and nephew in the background. So this is my personal phone. All right. So so I can't show AuthentiSign, you guys, because I had a demo account and I went to go log on. Actually, I did it yesterday and it wouldn't work and I couldn't get it sorted by today. So sorry, I can't. But you AuthentiSign users, you can see how this is. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is uh, edit something in um, I use PDF Expert because I'm on an iPhone and then how it brings up to DocuSign mobile account. OK, so DocuSign users, you'll understand this. And again, keep in mind, this is my personal phone, so you're gonna see stuff, <laughs> hopefully nothing weird. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna use PDF Expert, okay? PD and Ray, can you monitor the uh, questions? Cause I gotta focus on what I'm doing, thank you. PDF Expert? Yeah, sure. Thank you. So, oh, I was doing this yesterday to show, but I wanna show you in all uh, editing software I've seen and tested, you can link your cloud storage account to it. So what does that mean? Well, it means if I go to connections, I go to my Google, I use Google Drive. I'm literally looking at the folders on my computer. This is awesome. So I have a DocuSign sample folder that I'm just gonna bring up, uh, which one? I'll just do this one here. So it's taking it from my computer into, oh, this is one I used already, but that's fine. I'll, I'll do this one as well, into my, PDF expert, and then I can use the, the um, strike throughs and text and whatever I need. So I could tap in there. See what I just did? I just hit strike through. I'm just going to do a bunch. I know this is not real, so whatever. Strike through. All I'm doing is saying strike through, strike through, whatever. If I want to add text, I can put the text here and I can say, uh, uh, this is an old one I use, but you get the idea. Um, I don't know, 1 million. One million. I can change the color. I don't want to spend two. Oh, I didn't. One, one killion. Okay, one million. Okay, I'm just going to use that. So I don't want to get into learning how this works. You get the gist of it, yes. So then what we do is we say, so I, I brought it in to editing, right? And I know this is wrong, but pretend it's right. And then what I do is I go, done. Let me just do this. Okay, the three little dots up here say share, okay, share. And when you see, no matter what editing software you use, when you see flatten, you always want to use flatten. I want to just pause for a moment and have you understand what flatten means, okay? So, um, because I see agents do this wrong all the time. If you don't do flatten and you send it to me as the other agent, I can edit your stuff and move those fields around. Eh. Ah, my free space. <laughs> That's bad. Okay. Um, does that make sense? 
So flatten pushes all the changes I made kind of onto the page and merges it on the page for lack of a better way to get you to understand that. So always flatten, okay? Share. And now it's saying, well, what do I want to share this document that I just did with? I'm on an iPhone, just FYI. And they did some updates, which is really interesting. Um, tap on here and oh, what am I doing? DocuSign, copy to DocuSign, okay? You can change that stuff on an iPhone. I just haven't gotten around to it. So it brings it in and either can sign it now or get a signature. I want to get a signature, right? And it, there's two documents. Uh, so I go, yes. And I already did this. I added, oh, that's from before. So I added Terry and me just to test. If I wanted to add the other agent, watch, I don't know. Um, well, I'll put Ray. Whoops, I can't spell Ray. One of the cool things about DocuSign mobile app is it's reading my actual um, contacts on my phone, right? It won't do this if you're using the uh, uh, online version. Once you add someone, it's great, but this is actually reading the contacts on my phone. So I want Ray Rodriguez and I'm gonna do oh, whatever. Ray, I'm just gonna do this one. I'm, we're gonna pretend he's an agent and he receives a copy after the finished document, okay? So now I have three people, Terry to sign first, me to sign, and then Ray to sign. All right. So I want you to understand, again, I'm just throwing this out there based on questions of the three years of teaching a, a course on this about the questions I normally get is that, so what's the difference between not setting signing order and setting signing order? Well, let me explain this. So in this case, what happens is that I, as the second person, do see, I see nothing until Terry hits finish and signing, okay? Once Terry is done, I get the document with Terry's initials and stuff, and then I initial it. Ray does not see anything until I hit finish. When I hit finish, everybody, the agent that is doing this, which is me in this case, uh, Terry, the second person, which is me and Ray, all get a copy of the finished document. Does that make sense? Any questions? Ray, is there any questions? Um, we have one. Do you have to pay for a PDF expert? Mm. Sorry, yes. Yeah, um, so here's the thing about software and um, any downloads you, you, that you might use. There's usually a free version, you guys, right? But usually the paid version gives you more. And honestly, apps, I don't remember. I didn't pay much for PDF expert. I got the bundle. I got... Um, that the company that does um, the iPhone editing is uh, with PDF Expert is called Rattle, and they usually have a bundle, and their bundle's usually better. There's a Scanner Pro, which I love. I could do a whole session on that app it's called Scanner Pro. So I got Scanner Pro, a y, uh, AirPrint, I think. I can't even remember now. And PDF Expert for something like 20 bucks, I don't even know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, I don't remember. It was all good. Um, you guys, I see hands being raised, but if you have a question, can you do it in the chat and not in the question part? Because I'm not monitoring that. I don't know, Ray, are you doing that? <laughs> okay, back to this. Okay, so you guys get it. I go next. Again, without me talking, you'll see how fast this is. So again, I'm just going to throw stuff, you know, where you'd normally do it. This is a different document. I pulled up a different document. That was a bad example, damn it. Sorry, you guys. Um, but just for the sake of time, let me just pretend this is the right document. <laughs> See where it says uh, on the bottom, it says Terry Osti. So we're doing signatures for him right now. So let's just say I tap in there and I put his initial. I tap here and I put his initial. I'm just going to randomly put some stuff initial. I don't like where it is. I can move it around. Okay. Now I'm just going to change. And I know that we need to do more, but I'm just going to change it. Now it's me. Now it's Darcy to sign. Oh, I don't like that placement. I'm going to put it there. And tap there, initials. So another thing that I always got questioned about um, with uh, when I was doing the class, just let me just do this last one. Whoops, nope. Initial, nope. oh my God. See what happened there? I want you to see this because the yellow is Terry and the blue is me. So I screwed up, delete. I got to change back to me, right? This is so easy. Initial, and now I can move this. And I do have to tell you that it's um, one of the things I will mention, which is a lot easier when you're doing any editing on a small, tiny document like this, your finger gets in the way, right? So what I would do is I would buy a, a jot pen or some kind of 
touchscreen pen that you can easily see where you're moving stuff. You'll thank me for this later because even as I was doing this, I did pretty good, but I'm just using my finger. My finger's in the way and I can't see where it's going. You could uh, expand it and, and zoom in and try it, but you know what I mean, right? So let's say this is the end document. All I do is hit next. This is where I would change this. Lots of people keep the same um, subject and leave it as default and you can, but I would put in here, so the client knows offer on whatever, one, two, three, four, Main Street, Main Street. And then I usually, when we're doing something like this, you, you, you can use, this is an iPhone. So I actually, I don't do this, but I teach agents to do this. I don't have it on mine. But you say the same thing every time, right? So what I would do is I would create a shortcut on my phone. And so, and I'll, I'll uh, let me just see. Oh, actually, <laughs> WRU is one I use. Okay, you ready? I'm always asking Terry, where are you? <laughs> you know, we're at the grocery store, we're out and about and we lose each other. I'll just say, because I, I, I do it so often, I just, is that funny? I just created a shortcut, WRU. So you could create a shortcut that says, you know, uh, um, I don't know, DocuSign or AuthentiSign or whatever. No, no, you wouldn't use that because that would actually populate it. But saying something like, uh, here's uh, the DocuSign document. Please go through each of the uh, paragraphs, uh, initial where you want, you will get a complete, you know what I mean? Tell them exactly what you want every time. And then you don't have to waste more time typing. I'm all about automating anything we can. Does that make sense, you guys? So you don't have to do that, but I think it would be wise to do that because it's the same, same information every single time. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to go blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to hit send. Okay. I'm done. Literally. Do you guys see now my AuthentiSign users? Is it as fast to do it on a mobile device? If you're going to go in and edit it and uh, add the signatures and send. I personally don't think so. I think uh, the, because the mobile app isn't really mobile, I don't believe anymore. I haven't tested it in a while. So if there's AuthentiSign users out there, unless they've changed it, did that look way easier to do than in um, uh, using AuthentiSign? I'd love to know. Uh, so all good? Are we good? Oh, see, you got a missed call. You can see that. Because <laughs> what I want to do now is I'm going to log on to DocuSign and I want to show you if we're editing within DocuSign because there's some got just to know about that. Uh, is that good, you guys? Are we good? Any questions on how I just did that? Ray, is there any questions? We're good? Nope, all good. Okay, so I'm going to now flip because it's. Uh, I'm going to stop my screen share on my iPhone if I can. Um, how do I do that? Just a second. This is new. I usually use a different piece of software and I'm using that. Okay, there we go. Okay, well, not bad. That was pretty easy. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to open up uh, DocuSign. I actually have DocuSign open here. And again, I want you remember that process is the same. I'm using DocuSign, but that process is the same no matter what you're doing. You're getting the document from somewhere, you're editing or not, you're going to add the signatures or not, right? Or not. Yeah, you're going to add the signatures, you're going to add the recipients. And I didn't actually finish talking about what happens if you don't have a signing order on. If you don't have signing order on, everybody gets it at the same time. Okay. So whoever signs first, signs first, we don't care. So sometimes we like to do signing order just so you can track it. And also, especially, I don't know, in, in what I like to do, if you're going to add an agent to receive a copy, I don't know, as a kind of makes me feel better to put signing order because I know that it's not going to happen by accident that he's going to see it before. I don't know why. I just feel that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me just see. How's it going? Do you have a question? Uh, do, do you have a question? Like, Oh, sorry. Is it okay for a mortgage broker to take your course? Oh, I don't care. Uh, I'm happy. I actually work with brokers and uh, agents. So for sure. Great question. Um, uh, I don't think I'm missing any questions, Ray. Okay, perfect. So let me just talk again. I, I, I wish I could use AuthentiSign. Like I said, what happened was that I could not uh, log on uh, yesterday when I tried. I tried again today and I think they've, um, I had a demo account and it's, it's sometimes painful. Let me show you what I, what I don't like about AuthentiSign. What is that? Okay, so let's say I don't know the logon. AuthentiSign logon. 
Okay. They have this weird log on, which is like Instanet solutions or something. I always find, oh, here, hold on. Does this one work? Okay. And then they do this pre-flight check thing to make sure everything's working. Mine came up that it wasn't. I was, uh, wasn't, um, oh, where is it? Uh, mine came up that I was, the th fourth thing didn't work. It wasn't even that I couldn't log on, which I couldn't, but it came up that uh, it wouldn't work. And then it said, click here to fix your uh, browser. And then it only showed Internet Explorer bar browser and not um, the one I was using. Anyhow, sometimes I just get frustrated because I think that they don't think the things through that they're doing in Authentisign the way I like it to be done. Okay. So let me just go back to DocuSign um, and I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm going to create a document for signing. Okay. So same with dot loop or authentisign or secure share or whatever signing app you're using the interface looks different but the process is the same okay so i say start now and your docusign docusign if you're using it might look slightly different um and it says well how do i want to do this i could drag my files in here i i could go get them so i'm sitting on my computer so i'm just going to go grab my uh, docusigning uh Oh, you guys, I did this video yesterday, just reminded me, on Facebook Live. You should go watch it if you are uh, use any type of email viewer, like iPhone or iPad or Android. Everyone does. You should go watch that because I think it was pretty interesting because <laughs> I did it. I had, I had a client who had some issues, and I thought, well, lots of people don't understand that, so you can go watch that on the Facebook group. Um, okay, so I am going to go to, oh, you know what? I got to go way down here because I don't have it uh, as a shortcut anymore. And no, what am I doing? Okay, DocuSign sample files. So I'm just gonna pull up um, this offer. I think this one is screwed up too. <laughs> I gotta fix all my sample files because I was playing around with them. So there you go, you bring it in. Or you guys remember, you could do this through web forms, do it all up, and then on the left-hand side, you tap on it, send to whatever you use, right? That web form supports, and it will then be here like this. You're welcome, right? You understand the power of that? Now I grabbed it from my computer, which is fine. Oh, you can't see my screen, Ray. Sorry, you guys, let me just, sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought Ray would tell me that. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. So you were just looking at my face, sorry. So um, basically I just was at the main screen that said add, upload a file. So um, now I'm here. So if I was on web forms, I would be, and I said send to whatever, DocuSign, AuthentiSign, SecureShare, uh, Faltor, it's same thing. It would go directly into here and you'd be at this point. That's cool, right? So could you do that on your iPhone, iPad, maybe? Mm, just saying. Android. Okay, so I'm at this point where it's added the six pages. And again, I believe that I have messed these up and played around with them, but it doesn't matter. You just want to know the process. This isn't a real, real documents, right? So if I was the only signer, did you know that if you are a user of whatever, you can sign other documents? Like we just had our accountant send something that we needed to sign. So I uploaded it into here and I said, I'm the only signer. And I signed it right inside here. And then I sent it to the accountant, right? So you can use your tool for personal stuff as well, not just business, right? Okay, so this is business, I say next. And it says, okay, who are the recipients? So again, I'm going, to, I'm gonna use some test IDs that I have, so maybe I can show you if this all works out fine. How are we doing for time? Not bad. Betty at, no, uh, Betty Darcy. There you go, Betty Rubble. You guys know who that is? If you don't, you're too young, get out. <laughs> Okay, so Betty Rubble, and then I think I have, oh, what's the other, Barney, Barney Darcy Test at gmail.com, and we'll, oh, I see what I did there, sorry, this is hard when you're talking, and this is Barney, Barney Rubble, so here's the thing, you guys, again, about document signing, that name field is the field that the computer recognizes or the software recognizes. So when you grab that name field to place in spots, this is what it's grabbing. So if you do a typo here, 
essentially the contract is going to show the wrong info, right? So you have to know this. Okay, so here we are, needs to sign, uh, in-person signing, receives a copy, needs to view, however you wanna do this, but normally needs to sign. If you are with your clients and maybe you think that they might not be too tech savvy, this is what Terry does, I know, and this is what I recommend other clients do, is to say, well, you're with them and you have to get a Dort signed or something signed, that I would say, hey, let me show you how it's gonna work because when we're in the, in the real offer stage, you'll understand how it works and not be stressed out. So with their devices, you get their email address. So if Betty and Barney were with us, we could say in-person signer for both. I could um, send it to them. I could actually give them my device or even better, you could say needs to sign, <clears throat> excuse me, needs to sign, but it comes to their device, as long as they've got their devices with them, with the, with the email address that we put here, that they can open it up and you can walk them through how it looks on their phone, okay? Now, I had a question earlier that someone said, um, does it matter what devices they use? No, the difference is that the computer is smart enough or the software is smart enough, all the software is smart enough to know if it's touch screen, it will bring up a, a sign with your finger or like who carries a pen around normally someone doesn't have a signing pen right <clears throat> so they're signing with their finger and if it's a non-touch screen and let's say i'm on my computer and i open up using let's say i don't know outlook or mac mail and it's not touch screen it will say pick a signature does that make sense that's really the only difference and with the technology now, it will pop up and say, can we track your location? I always tell people, tell them to say yes, do it while we're there. And because it just gets better information if they say no, it still tracks stuff, but it doesn't track everything, okay? Okay, so, and if we wanted to add somebody else to view it, we could do it down here or get CC'd when it's done. Again, set signing order, you can set signing order. If you are using, and, and I'm working with DocuSign, uh, again, I don't, uh, I'm not a shareholder. I just find that there's something that kind of bugs me about DocuSign. If you're using it as editing software, which you can, you just have to understand, you would want to set the signing order. There's a few ways of doing it. I'm mean, Time constraints, we have 10 minutes. I'm only gonna show you one way, okay? So set signing order. I'm gonna send it to Betty first and then Barney, okay? next so i want you to really understand this so there is strike throughs now which is awesome and then there's i haven't logged in in a bit but that's good okay so let's just say yeah this is a, <laughs> a crappy one what a horrible contract okay so i'm on betty and i'm just going to put her initial here okay and let's say i forgot to put the uh, the amount up here i'm going to put text up here Okay, and I'm going to say $1 million. Remember, I grabbed the wrong thing. One, one million. Okay, perfect. So this is attached. This yellow stuff is attached to Betty, right? Now, let's say I want to do a proper strike through. This is called markup tools, lines. Only, only paid accounts get this, okay? Not the free ones. So I'm going to grab this line, and I'm just going to put it on here. This is a strike through. This line is not attached to Betty. It is attached to the paper. Do you understand that? The yellow stuff is attached to Betty. Okay. So that, hopefully that makes sense. I'm just going to do a couple lines. <laughs> that sounds weird too. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do a couple lines here. All right. Uh, okay, a couple strike throughs. Oh, I didn't. That's not very good i want it straight okay so you can change the color you can do a bunch of things i don't have time to get into all this stuff because that's really docusign and i just want you to know, understand the process this is docusign as well so again now i'm going to uh let me just do one more uh what am i doing here standard fields one more initial here for betty okay now i'm going to uh do barney initial and initial. Oh, I want to show you something. Hold on. I want to go back. Just a sec. I'm going to go back. I'm going to not. Oh, good. I didn't. I didn't set signing order because I want you to understand how this works. If you screw up, always set signing order. Okay. Okay. So there it is. You guys understand the yellow is for Betty. 
the red is on the paper and the blue is for Barney, right? Okay. So I put 1 million here. Let me do one more. Uh, Betty, yeah, I'm going to put another text. I'm going to put, I don't know. I'm going to put, um, oh, let's put 30,000. You guys have to remember this. Okay. 30,000. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to send blah, blah, blah. Normally I do this. Oh, actually, I should just do this so I know this is Darcy test. Okay. And perfect. So now I'm going to show you as Barney gets this first. Okay. Let me, and then Barney, Barney, Darcy test. And if you guys have not seen me uh, use RoboForm, which is a phenomenal password keeper, it's awesome. Okay. Oh no, that's fine. Oh shoot. <laughs> okay, let me in, let me in. Okay, so I gotta go back to Gmail. Oh, you know what, also I wanna share with you guys something because I know lots of people don't know this. This is my test account. I play around with it. So I want Gmail. This is my real account. I use Gmail all the time. I can just drag the icons up to the ones I use most. How cool is that? And then what I do is I actually create a bookmark for all my Google stuff. And then I just, I use it, just go to my contacts, calendar, drive, docs, whatever I'm doing. I know, smart, right? Okay. Oh, it hasn't, did I not do it right? Hold on. Let's refresh this. Where is it? Oh no. Did I not? Oh no. Barney Darcy test at Gmail. Did it go into spam? Oh, you gotta love live uh, stuff. What did I do wrong, you guys? Anyone know? So, what I would do, let's say the client says, I didn't get that, you would go back in. No, oh, not there. Hold on. I, I sound out a DocuSign. Let me go back in. I think you had Betty for, oh yeah, that I did. Oh, but I think I said, don't, oh, you know what? You are right, hold on. What I might have done is maybe that uh, signing an order did work and I didn't want it to work. Ah, let me go back and look at my manage. I like it when things screw up. Let me just go completed. Oh, it's not completed. What is going on here? Oh, that's that one. Oh my goodness, I'm so messed up right now. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, I know why. I know why. Hold on. DocuSign changed these views. And I'm not quite used to it. It is this one. No, no. What are we in December? It is the one that waiting for others. This one. Sorry, you guys. This one. There we go. December 12th. I can't believe it's this guy. Okay, so let's just take a look at this. I want to correct it. Did you know it's... Did you know that as long as nobody's hit finish, I can still fix everything? This is cool to know. Okay, so okay, I have the wrong document. I could upload a different document. I'm going to go back over here. <clears throat> I want to just see the signing order. I don't want, yeah, I don't have it set. Barney Darcy test at Gmail. That is what I did. Well, sometimes I'm just not patient. Why is it not come in? But I did have it set initially, so I wonder. Anyhow, what I want, uh, it's, uh, you know what, I can't show you what I want you to show, what I want to show you. But basically what I want you to understand is that if um, Barney Rubble gets this first and it is not set signing order, which somehow, I think I did that and it stuck um, from the look of this. Okay, see now it says this. Okay, yeah, hold on, let me just do this, you guys. I see what happened. Okay, get out of here, dismiss this. What I'm gonna do is resend it. Just that's all good. I really want you to see this, so one sec, because it's important to understand if you are using DocuSign for editing, which is fine, as long as you understand this, okay? There we go, that's what happened. Did you guys understand what happened? So what happened was when I initially did it, I said set signing order, and then I changed my mind, but I didn't go back and fix it properly. Okay, so now I want, I want it, I don't care who signs, but you're right, why it didn't work initially is because it was still on set signing order. So here I am, 
I go as uh, I'm, I'm using a browser. I could be using anything. I click on review document. Okay. <clears throat> sometimes it'll pop up. I've done this a gazillion times. So sometimes it'll pop up saying, um, uh, allow location or whatever. I would always say yes. Okay. Continue. Okay. This is a new feature in DocuSign that if they wanted to make comments, they can. I don't think anyone uses it. So if you hit start, I just want to whip through this. I want to show you what's happened. Okay. Do you see the problem if you don't set signing order and you're using DocuSign as editing? I want you to look at this. I know this is a crappy document, but what's missing you guys? Anything? Because I know that you guys have been doing this wrong. Right, the price, Dennis, good one. The, the pricing that I put here, why? Think about it, why is it missing? If you understand like the technical side of it, why is it missing? What was that price attached to? The first person. So as long as you always, if you're using editing software and you say set signing order, the first person gets it, signs off on it. The second person gets it and their signatures will be there, their or initials, whatever you put, and the text that you've attached to them. Okay. Question is, is it yellow? Yellow is always from the recipient. I always am yellow as a recipient. Okay. The colors, when we were doing it as the agent, they differentiate between who um, who you're doing. So yellow is the first person, blue is the second person, pink is the third person. That makes sense. It's just for you to know who you're working on and whose signature initials you're placing, right? That's on all software, I believe. I've, I've, all the ones I've tested, it's different colors. So you know who you're placing initials and signatures for. Does that make sense? Uh, I remember you did the price in yellow. Yellow was attached to the first person. I'm logged on as the second person. Let me go back. I want you to understand this because it's no problem using um, DocuSign as editing as long as you understand it. Okay, so let's, we're going to go back to this one. I'm going to go back and look at it. I'm going to correct because we still haven't, I haven't signed it off as the client, right? So let's go back one more time. You have to understand this. Once you do, it's no problem. Okay, not, no signing order. Okay, and how I know that is here, it says, doesn't matter who signs it. If I said set signing order, it's in a, a line of who signs it first, okay? So Barney is number one, Betty is number two. Okay. Barney is yellow, this is yellow. Betty is blue, if there's a third person, they're pink. Okay, when I did Barney, hold on, let me just, See, it looks funny now. Hold on. Barney's one. Why is it showing blue? Oh my God. I don't know why it's showing blue now. What am I doing? Hold on. That's not right. That's her. Hold on. Let me just see something because something's weird now. Text. Oh my God. Yep. Okay, Barney. Let me just do this again. Text. I don't know why it's showing blue. That makes absolutely no sense. There's something glitchy going on here. But it's yellow because it should be Barney. I'm just going to type in here. It doesn't really matter what I'm typing. <laughs> what I, yes, I always say, Erica, it's always set signing order and you'll never have to worry about this. There's another way to do it, but I don't want to get into it. If you're using DocuSign for editing, all I have to say is please set signing order and, and one other thing, read only. You make the text read only. It just covers you for errors because if I did not make this read only, when the client gets it, they can change it. And we don't want them to change it. We've talked to them, we've discussed it. This is the price, yes. We don't want them to get confused if they don't understand technology, okay? Does that make sense? So once we do this, I'm gonna just hit next, correct, and send, and then I'll actually go sign it. Let me just refresh this. It might not work yet, because see, this is cool. It says correction in progress. Please, and it'll say, go back and click the link. You actually can go back, and if I click this link, it should get the corrected stuff in there, which is pretty cool, right? So that garbly gook stuff that I put in here, yeah, we should see, right? But I didn't check 
on this one, oh, and I don't see it because I'm as Betty as anyhow. So once I tap on here, it recognizes that this computer, this one is not a touch screen. I could draw on it with a mouse, which is, you know, horrible, <laughs> but I could adopt it. Initial, adopt, see that's bad, I did it wrong, but whatever, blah, blah, blah. Finish. Uh, and here's another thing that you always want to tell people is they do not have to become a DocuSign user. Just say no thanks. They're going to get the document anyhow. They can if they want and it'll be in there if they want. Doesn't matter. I believe all the other ones do something similar to that. I just say no thank you. So now we could log on as, let me log on as, uh, that was Barney, right? <laughs> go back. I can't even remember. I think that was, who was the first person? Betty, I have to go into Betty. Okay, so I'm gonna log on as Betty. That's Barney, yep. Uh, 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 add another account. I'm going to log on as Betty Darcy Test. Oh, did I do that? Darcy Test. No, I don't have to type that Gmail. You don't have to type that Gmail when you're in Gmail. Okay, I don't know the password, so I go up to my lovely password keeper. Hey, best one ever, RoboForm. I'm just gonna confirm that's fine. Let me in, let me in. Okay, there we go. And now I'm the first signer signing in second. Hmm? How to confuse you guys. Okay, so click okay. And again, I'm just gonna scroll down to here. So now, uh, see, read only. I could, if I did not put read only, I can change all these amounts if I wanted to. Now, probably I wouldn't, but right? That's why you say read only. So I'm now going to initial it, initial it. I see uh, the second person's initials on here and everything looks horrible, but good. <laughs> I did finish. Now, Betty gets a copy, Barney gets a copy. You can hear all the dinging. And I, as the agent, gets a copy. Okay, does that make sense? So cool. And I can say no thank you. And now uh, in DocuSign, this is one of the things I want you to see. Um, all, all the different types of signing software do something similar as well. Okay, so just know that. So now this is completed, right? Let me just refresh this. And now it should be done. Oh gosh, I'm still not used to this new, oh it is, it's just delayed. Patience, always drops. Okay, this one is completed. So if we wanted to see uh, the history, this is really neat if you haven't seen this before you guys. Um, we can look at, now it, this is kind of irrelevant because I'm on the same computer doing this, right? <laughs> but well, look at this. Envelope was created, this is who signed it, what time, where they were, the IP address. Now, mine is gonna show the same IP address because I'm using the same computer for everything, right? <laughs> right? So, uh, where they signed it, when they signed it, what they did, like this is so awesome. So, if you're not gonna think that you're always gonna stay with whatever you're using, AuthenticSign or DocuSign or dot loop or whatever, what I would do is download the certificate and save it with your clients in your proper folder structure on your computer. So you always have this, okay? In case anything ever happens, okay? Um, okay, that's kind of it for the demo. Let me just see, are there any questions? Are you doing a seminars in Dr. San Quitlam instead of Vancouver? Um, I, I don't think we're actually gonna be doing any more. Um, there's been too many changes for, to, uh, web forms and uh, DocuSign has made some changes and so they don't have the staff I don't think to um, to keep updated on the tech changes so I may do one myself because of the new rules and have it a paid course that would be online just to show you kind of like this but we have you know less people and you can ask questions and show your screen and things like that so we'll I don't really know yet um, any other questions Ray, let me know if I've missed anything. Otherwise, we want to thank Remax again for sponsoring this. I've only five minutes over. Thank you, Remax. Um, I don't want you to be a secret agent. There's the link again if you if you need some help with your systems and how things are set up. Um, we uh, don't have another session scheduled for 2020 yet. I'm just working out how I'm going to do these. Um, 
Mine will probably be only allow 50 people to register, so get in fast when we send it out. But I will make, uh, we always let people on our Facebook group know, so make sure that you're in our Facebook group and on our newsletter. Uh, Ray, can you put the newsletter link actually? So it'll automatically put you in our newsletter. We always let people know by newsletter uh, when we're doing these webinars or any kind of training, you'll be notified, okay? so. Any questions that I um, missed? How much does DocuSign and how to add on? I'm not sure. Uh, so DocuSign pricing varies depending on, Crea gives you a discount, so you'd have to get the Crea discount. Um, if you're with uh, Remax, I know only because my husband is with Remax that their fee is something like a hundred and something a year. It's, it's much less because they made a deal with DocuSign. Um, so check with your brokerage, maybe they can as well. Um, and I don't know what you mean by how to add on. Do you mean how to add on to web forms? Uh, Ray put in the chat, you'll see it's streamlinedagents.com. That's my f private Facebook group, streamlinedagents.com. Ray, can you throw that in there again? I think you meant how do you add it on to web forms? So um, in web forms, so I'm going by memory, so, I, and I don't know about the changes, but before it was, you log on to web forms, there was a, um, a menu that said apps, and then you would see um, secure share, DocuSign, AuthentiSign, and Faltor. You pick which one, you log on once to allow sharing, or allow it to integrate, and then that's it. Then you'll see it on the menu on the side, okay? It's very cool, you have to do that. That alone is worth it. Sky Slope, yeah, okay, cool, Dean. You're in the U.S. That's right. So same same premise, except we use DocuSign. And again, you want to link most of the. I didn't show you this because we didn't have time, but DocuSign web version. You can link your cloud storage there too. So you could log on to the web version. I could go get my document just like I showed you how to do it on my phone, right? All these ones that you usually, all the big ones, you can link your cloud storage account that should be linked to your proper business email that should be linked to your domain, right? You got to understand that. Okay. Super cool. Okay. I think I answered everybody's questions. If not, you can go to the Facebook page and ask in the, um, I'm recording it there. Just ask in there and I'll get back to you. I'm busy all day today, but I'll get back to it when I can and answer your questions. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, we'll see you guys later. If you're not on Facebook, I don't know what to tell you, Scott. Maybe create an uh, ID just to go uh, check that out, okay? <laughs> That's where I throw everything just because it's easier. All right. Okay, thanks a lot, you guys. We'll talk to you later. Uh, I'm ending this now. Oh, uh, Scott, we actually might be actually putting this up on YouTube too, okay? We're just getting our processes sorted out. So hopefully that helps. Uh, so uh, Ray, can you put my YouTube channel here? Uh, before I sign off, he'll get ready to put my YouTube channel here because we're trying to do it. So everything we do, we'll always put on our Facebook group. So you can always search there. If you don't know how to search, Facebook has a great search inside a group. Um, and we're always going to try and put it in our um, our YouTube. And then in our newsletter, we'll let people know about the, you know, if you want to replay and watch it as well. Okay. Ray, are you there? I think maybe he's putting that, you know, um, or send it to Scott directly. I don't know. I don't yep. know where we went. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Thanks guys. Talk to you later.